Yo, how's it going everyone? My name is Neon and I'm back with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to get yourself Battle Pass tokens within Season 2, along with getting yourself good amounts of XP to go ahead and help with your ranks. Make sure to do me a huge fat ass favour and drop a like on this video. Can we go for 250 likes? That would mean the absolute world to me. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Also, go ahead and smack a subscribe if you've never met me before. My name is Neon, I'll keep you up to date on all the brand new working. XP glitches and just glitches in general on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. If you haven't already, check out my friend Dan Mods, as he does very good MW2 bot lobby services and camo unlocks. He also does GTA 5 stuff as well such as cash and stuff like that if that's something you're interested in. His process is super quick and easy, he is 100% safe and trusted. <laughs> you should see his trust pilot reviews. He has also recently added a nuke unlock service as well. If you use the coupon NEON it will get you up to $100 off anything he sells. Don't forget to use code NEON at checkout and go to the description down below of this video and click on his website. Let's get back to the glitch. I just want to start off by apologising, I was meant to upload this video a few days ago but I have been sidetracked and I've had a lot that I needed to get done. But what you want to go ahead and do is play the game mode Resurgence, okay? Now we're going to start this up in quads, but before you do this, go to your settings and go to the controller settings, advanced, and make sure you have your parachute set to automatically open. Also make sure you have squad fill on as well so when you go into the game you're going to be in the game with random people because if you do it without squad fill on you're going to end up going in the game on your own and you're not going to have a chance of getting much XP. Now yes this is an AFK method that's going to get you tons of normal XP to rank up your character along with levelling up your battle pass as well so you'll get those battle pass tokens. Now if you've already seen this and you already know about it I don't blame you if you watch YouTube a lot and you watch these tutorials then you'll already have probably seen this on YouTube. I was just a bit late on this one and I really apologise for that. For the people who have not seen it though all you have to do is go AFK when you get into the game of resurgence. Now I'm going to tell you something that the other creators don't tell you on YouTube. Well from the select few videos I've seen on this on the platform anyway what they tell you is once you die it will put you into another game straight away and you can just stay afk and you'll do this over and over again and you'll get tons of xp that's not the case what they say is obviously the game will end it will come up with the play again and it will have a countdown and they say once that countdown goes down to zero it will put you back into another game and it will do that once your full team dies but that's not the case what happens is once this countdown actually goes down it just does nothing it keeps you in the game and all you have to do is just wait it out even if your team dies you wait it out and watch the rest of the game. Now if you don't win the game some random people will and you're probably wondering how much XP you get from this. Well the XP depends on how far through the game your teammates get. So you're going AFK if your teammates win the game you're going to get a lot more XP than you would if you don't win the game. Anyways once the game is completely finished it's going to pop up on screen telling you how much XP you got in total in that match but I've not found that actually being that accurate because when it kicks me out back to the, the lobby screen, it does it on its own by the way, we're AFK the whole time, it gave me 10,000 XP. It gave me a really good amount that game and I leveled up by doing it. Now the whole point of this is you go AFK, it'll eventually kick you out and once it does kick you out it's just going to put you straight back into another lobby again. As you can see here it levels up your battle pass as well, I don't actually own it but it was giving me battle pass tokens. But yeah, I've not touched my controller the whole time and it's put me back into another game with random people and you just go AFK the full time. Make sure you don't have your controller set to turn off after a certain amount of time and make sure it'll still stay charged and it won't disconnect. I'm sure if it disconnects, it still works anyway. Let me know in the comments down below. I've not 100% went and tried that yet. But yes, if you're doing the AFK method, I just thought I'd let you know that play again part has nothing to do with it whatsoever. I don't know why creators say that because it just puts you into another game anyway when it kicks you out at the end and that's how you do it if you're going AFK. So if you have to go to work, set up your console, get it AFK, go to work, come back, you'll have a lot more levels, you'll also have uh, battle pass tokens to spend so that's what's really good about it as well if you're going to sleep leave it on overnight school, everything like that, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe if you found it informative in any way shape or form. My name is Neon and I'm out. Peace.